Welcome to Pointwise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today we're talking about the automatic boundary condition. The automatic boundary condition is a special boundary condition that only applies to the grid apply T-Rex function. Here's how it works. If an angle is specified in the defaults panel, then an angle boundary condition will be used. If no angle is specified, then the wall delta S will be used. And if that connector is shared by a structured domain, then the adjacent grid boundary condition would be used. Here I have the unstructured domains and blocks subframe open. I've got the T-Rex checkbox opened, and I've already set max layers to 25 and full layers to 1. The T-Rex boundary condition is down here and is currently set to auto. I have a wall delta S set, but I have no angle set. So let me go ahead and set an angle. Now I'm going to create the surface mesh on this airfoil. With the surface mesh completed, I can now apply 2D T-Rex. I'll select the trailing edge and the leading edge connector. Recall I have an angle set. It should apply an angle BC to the leading edge and adjacent grid BCs to the two trailing edges. Apply T-Rex. Now I can select the domain. And you see that's what happened. An angle of 15 is applied to the leading edge and the trailing edge is set to adjacent grid. Let me click undo, and now let me set the angle to zero, and now apply 2D T-Rex again. See now a wall boundary condition is set rather than an angle boundary condition. The trailing edge is still set to adjacent grid. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all, and have a pleasant Tuesday.